Yes, verse 15. Watch this. I'm going to show you what happened to us, Jerry. Because it's not for nothing that we know Christ is black. It don't matter if we're not doing whatever, whatever is required to get the kingdom. It don't matter. So I'm going to show you how to get the kingdom, Jerry. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said a long time ago. This is a long time. This is over 2,000 years ago, Jerry. Christ, I mean, God told Moses, go and tell my people, right? Remember Moses, you're familiar with the story of Moses? He went up on Mount Sinai, and God told Moses, go and tell my people, if they break these, if they don't do what, I tell, what I'm telling them to do, I'm going to curse them. Let's read about these curses. And I, what I want you to do, uh, uh, Jerry, I want you to see if you identify. And what people on this earth right now identify what's written thousands of years before it happened. Watch this. Verse 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city. Look around, Jerry. Look around. Curse shalt these people, whoever they are, be in the city. Come on. And curse shalt thou be in the field. And curse shall they be in the field. What field? What field were we cursed in, Jerry? I, uh, does, tell me if this ring any bell, especially here in Virginia. Cotton. Yeah, you got any good thoughts when it comes to cotton? Uh, cursed shall God's people be in the field. Watch this. It's, it's more, because anybody can say they was cursed in the field, right? Let's, let's find out. Come on, jump down. Jump down. Let's get down 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who is that, Jerry? When did that happen to our people? Who else went through that as a people? Not, you know, you or you. No, as a race of people. That's black people. That's black people. Watch this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. If you notice, Jerry, where's our military? Who sits down with Joe Biden and say, listen, this is what we need for our community. And, you know, and then go before the world, the world, uh, 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 what's it called? The Council of Nations. Uh, of churches. Huh? The Council of churches. No, 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 not that. Uh. The Council of Nations. League of Nations. Who goes and sits down for us? What black man? Where are you? No, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. What's his name? Joe Biden. Joe Biden sit down for you. They say them niggas don't need nothing. Them niggas don't need nothing. We just somebody say reparations two times in their behalf. Say it. You ain't gotta give them back. Just say it. And they'll all shut up. That's what they don't have to do. Dumb niggas. That's what. So it says we won't have any might in our hands to go get our sons and our daughters back. It's okay. One people come against another people and take their children. You say things like, you ain't going to get them. You send your military. That's a declaration of war. Who don't have a military to redeem their sons and their daughters? That's us. Name me another people that don't got their own military. Anybody. It's just us. It's just us. But it's more. Jump down to verse 50, I mean 64. Sir. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So now, Jerry, it says that we're going to be scattered. The Lord is going to scatter those people from one end of the earth even unto the other. No matter where you go on this planet, we travel. We tra I don't know if you travel, but no matter where you go, there's a black man. How did that happen, Jerry? How did that happen? I'm not talking about just Africa. Of course it's black. But I'm talking, go to China. You're a black man, not a black man. No, it's black with whole, whole communities. See this right here? They got this over there. It's just like this. You go to Iran. Just like this. You go to Israel. Right. It's a place called Demona. People look just like us, talk just like us, act just like us. You understand what I'm saying to you, Jerry? Who else scattered all over the earth? Who else? Like 
Because when you scatter people, they're not strong as a people. That's the point of scattering the people. Break their strength. Watch this. And thou shalt serve other gods. So now, as a people was being scattered, do you think that you brought your God with you? Or do you think you was given whatever God is of the land? Hence, this man. Once upon a time, Jerry, you don't think you knew your God looked like this. But now, we on this side of the land, on this side of the earth, after these curses, we thinking of this guy. We thinking of this guy. Let's get uh, Hosea. I got a four and 12. What is it, four and six? No. The idol. Habakkuk, I'm sorry. Habakkuk. Habakkuk. So I got to show you about the idol, right? I got to show you about the idol. I was going to keep going and Deuteronomy, bro, but it's, it's, I can't, like, my mind won't let me, my spirit won't let me. Watch this. Any minute. Whenever you're going to run out to Y'all should all wear this, right? How would you feel about that? How would you feel about that, Jerry? Yeah, so that's what that's what God is feeling with you, his people, who he died on the cross for to say, to show them a, a better way to, to, to give them a better chance, opportunity to repent from their sins. And then they put the, 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 the uh, Romans, the white man's sort, uh, uh, form of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, Capital punishment on their neck. How you think Christ feel about that? You know how you feel about the bullets, right? How you think Christ feel about you putting that cross on? You still alive. He died. Yeah, and that. So, how you think he feel? Watch this. I'm going to show you. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 18. What profited the graven image? That is God. It's God speaking here. Dude, this is prophet Habakkuk, right? He say, what profit the graven image? What, pro what good is that doing you, Jerry? What good is that doing you? What good is that doing our people? Watch this. That the maker thereof have graven it, the molten image, and a teacher of lies. You know why he say that's a teacher of lies? He, he tell he say, what prophet is that? Let me tell you what prophet that is. It's a teacher of lies. That's it. That's it. That's the whole reason it was created, to teach lies. And you know where it started? Right here. That's where it started, Jerry. That's where it started. You can't open no Bible. You gotta make, you gotta write a fake Bible to put this man in. Right. Because all the Bibles say, that's what Christ looked like. Knowing that that's a lie, that this man taught us, why would we wear it? What profit is it to you? What profit is it to anybody? That's what God is saying. Read it again. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 18. What profit if the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. To make what? Dumb idols. Dumb idols. Go back to 64, Deuteronomy 28. So when we got off those slave ships, Jerry, we was destroyed. And in our destruction, we were forced to wear that. Force. Now we do it, and we think that we, you know, doing with 50, 60. Now we think we, we cool when we do it. Now we, we ain't nobody unless we get a Jesus piece now. But it, we just, this here, say, God says, that's a teacher of lies. Right. And it's a dumb idol. That's what Habakkuk said. Right? The prophet of the Lord, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Bring it out. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So when we were scattered among all people, on what, how were we scattered among all people? What was the um, mode of transportation? I'm gonna show you. It's written in the Bible. And you're gonna know as soon as I read it. It's going it's going spark in your spirit. Watch this. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. You're gonna serve other gods once you get scattered. You're gonna serve other gods. Come on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. I asked you, Jerry, have you ever, did you know this before you were scattered and destroyed as a people, as a race? No, you didn't. You didn't. You knew that as the devil. 
You know that that's the devil. You think that's my work? Christ called him Satan. Christ called the race of people that we call white people Satan. Right. I can show you in the Bible. I can show you. I know you want to take off, but keep listening. Watch this. Which means that that. This is something new over here. That's how I know you don't even believe in that, Jerry. It's just something that you're hoping to believe in. We don't believe in that. It don't resonate in our spirit. You hearing this, you ain't come out here to hear us, but it's something resonating in your spirit. That's waking up in your spirit that you once knew. You was not always Jerry, if you understand what I'm saying. Read. Even wood and stone. What's the wood and stone, Jerry? What was Christ hanging on? Cross, that's that wood. When you go to prison, you can join two sides. For our people, we join two sides. What's the two sides, Jerry? We can sit out, we can, we can hopefully get down with Christianity, which is whatever you want to do. You've you been a gang and being Christian. Or you can join who? Who? No, you can join the Muslims. Them the, that's what you join in prison. Predominantly. I'm not saying it's a little small fraction. But predominantly, all our people fall into those religions fall into those religions. That's what was prophesied what happened to us as a curse. As a curse. Jump down to 68. Watch this. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So now we say, we're going into Egypt again. Well how? With ships. See, with ships this time, Jerry. So we just read that we will be scattered across the earth. Was it planes back in, was it uh, 14, uh, 16? Well, I'm sorry, 16, no, 16, uh, 16, 11, 16, 19? No. What was the mode of transportation back then to travel from one side of the earth to the other? Ships? What are those ships called, Jerry? Disney Cruise Line, what was they called? Slave ships. Slave ships. Wasn't cruise ships. They was cargo slave ships. You know what cargo slave mean? It, meaning they were meant for cargo. You're still to this day not considered a man. That's all prophesied here in the Bible. That's right. But somehow our communities look like this. God said everything was going, everything that would happen to us and why, and He told us how to fix it. Why do we still have to live like this? Why we still got to shoot each other, Jerry? Why we still got to go sit out in prison, Jerry? Because the pastors are supposed to be teaching us our sins or not. Nobody told you that that thing was the devil. Nobody told you that. Why, Jerry? It's in the book that everybody got. Don't everybody got this book? This is the number one sold book in the world. Even in the Islam community. The number one sold book on earth. Why nobody told you that, Jerry? We're in sin. We have to fix it. We have to repent. Christ died. Not this guy. Christ died on the cross so that you can repent from So that you can repent from You ever shave your beard? You got a mighty joint right now, bro. You need to keep that. That's a law. It don't, you ain't got to be long as mine. But Christ said, don't go make your face look like me. He needs your sons to look like me. That's what he said. He needs his, when you, get to, when you come of age, make sure it's in wisdom. That's what Christ is. He's teaching us how to be kings. He's teaching us how to be gods. That's what he's doing. That's what the word of God is doing. Numbers 15. Numbers 15. I'm showing you laws, right? You're keeping the law of the beard. Don't stop that, Jeremy. You know what I'm saying? That's something you can do because you're doing it now. A lot of things, man, I can't do that. You probably, Lord knows what you're about to get into more you come from doing right now. So I'm giving you some things that you can do and some things that you might not be able to do, but you need to aspire to. You need to repent and offend less. Offend less. Fix, fix your life. Fix, get yourself together. And guess what? We got your back when you're ready. Where do you think we came? <laughs> I taught here one time before I said, bro, I want to go back to that peak of stew. I call this place the stew. I don't know what y'all call it. I call it the stew. I say, no, my people was out there. I don't want to go there. My people was out there. It was hurting out there. I want to go back there. Show my people this here. You understand? So we got to repent. Watch this. 
The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. These are fringes right here, Jim. See this? It says bid them. That means to make them. Put on fringes in the borders of their garments. Right? Watch this. Throughout their generation. That means forever. So when you see a black man, you're supposed to see this on him also. We just forgot who we are. We forgot who we are, so we don't know. We dress like however they, whatever suit they put on us, that's what we do. You, we, right. they, we put on their little monkey suit and tie, now we somebody. Right. Now we're okay. They hey, put brother. that on us. Before they did that, they stripped you naked, and they shaved you bald. Come learn. Threw some powder, some talcum powder on you. Threw some water on you. Then as you now you can have my old shirt. Put that shirt on. Pants still missing. That's where your church suits come from. Yeah, now we're proud of that thing. Now we think we somebody when we start putting on their clothes. But this is our clothes. This is our culture. This is our heritage. That's right. You understand? Same sweater I got on all that. But when you when we put on clothes, like I'm supposed to be sitting on my brother right now, I'm supposed to see you up the street. That's my brother Jerry right there. He got on me. I'm supposed to know me, but I identify you whether or not I met you before. Okay. Oh, that's my people. This ain't some strange thing we're supposed to see. No, all our people are supposed to do that. It says throughout our generations. Throughout our generations. Watch this. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. That's this right here. It's not for nothing. This ain't some gang thing. It's some cult thing, church thing. No, the Bible said do this. And it looked good. You hear me? We got to be confident in, in our culture that God gave them. We his sons, baby. That's who we is. We got to we, we got to come back to that. Not like this monkey soup thing they got for us, bro. You understand? Watch this. Read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. This is what shall be unto us for a fringe. A fringe don't just mean this. A fringe means the edge or border of your garment. That's what fringe means. You understand? So some people say him. In the Bible it says fringe. Our fringes, our hem, is supposed to look like this. That's right. With the ribbon of blue up there. You God's son. You ain't regular. You ain't nobody. You God's son. No, yo, that's God's son right there. No, don't rob him. No, don't touch that man. That's God's son. That's how we got to get that in our minds. Watch this. That ye may look upon it and remember. We're supposed to be able to look upon this brother right here. Brother in the black. We're supposed to be able to look upon this. This is our culture right here, bro. Tell you, this our, come here, come find out, bro. Come find out or challenge it, either or. We're supposed to be able to look upon this and remember. Read it again. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So we're supposed to be able to look upon If I got this on, Jerry, it's only so much. It's only so much. A woman can walk down the street clothed like a, immodestly, and I could be taken by it. Because I got my fringes on. My brothers got their fringes on. So even if my mind ain't right, just, hey, Jerry, snap out of there, man. Get your mind right, let's go. You feel me? Imagine a whole community. Imagine a whole world of uh, Where my brothers killing each other. Where, is that? Where does that exist, Jerry, if we come back to that? left other people and it's going to consume and break in pieces all other kingdoms that's what we got to get back to you got the beard jerry you got the you, you i'm showing you the fringes jerry i told you that sin you breaking the um you, you break your uh the uh second commandment you breaking the second get, uh exodus chapter 20 give me verse 4 exodus 20 verse 4 i'm gonna show you that's your the commandment you're breaking watch this Book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, am a jealous God. So how you think God feel about that, Jerry? I'm, I'm just showing you what he say, brother. I'm showing you what he say. I'm telling you, you were in sin. You didn't know before now. Now you've been what's called marked. God is watching and recording this whole thing. 
You understand? So I showed you that that's idolatry. Let's get John, first John 3 and 4 real fast. And that is a sin. It is a sin, Jerry. And you can do that. You can accomplish fixing or repenting from that sin. That's not hard. That's not hard. I know it probably costs you a couple shekels like it. Right? But what is your soul worth? Right. What is your soul worth? I guarantee you, you even think that it's worth more than that check. Yeah. You'll fight for your life if somebody took that and, and, and shot you for it. You wouldn't just give up like, yeah, hey, I would do the same thing. <laughs> That's not how that would go, is it, Jerry? No, you feel like you have more value for your soul, right? So does the Lord. You got to act like it now. Come on. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, and verse 4. Yeah. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So we just, I had to show you the law, stating you can't have that idol. Because even if you don't bow down to worship it, Jerry, you know the whole world, do that, that's right. You know the whole world think that's Jesus. Right. The whole world think we supposed to have a Jesus piece on our chest with a dead white guy and his stringy hair laid out on the whole world think that. The whole world bows to that, Jerry. Even if you don't. You don't want no parts of that, Jerry. That's a teacher of lies. That's evil. Right. God hates that thing. Come on. Where we at? Come on. Read it again. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. You know what we taught? I'm going to tell you what we taught. Go back to Jeremiah chapter 20. You know what we taught, Jerry? Can we keep the law system? We can, right? Who's teaching the laws? What people? Okay, what about the, the, the Christian churches? They teaching, they teaching the people? Not like they should. I, I like that. I like Sister cut straight at the neck. Okay, so... God has an issue with that. Now you, you, you're not, not only are you not supposed to teach yourself, but you shouldn't have to either. So I get it. We got to teach ourselves because as, as we, as we, when we as babies, mama made us go to church. We said, oh, yeah, we're this, we're like, this boring. Then we grow up and now we start listening. It's actually. This is my culture. This is my heritage. And it's all lies. And that's not your heritage. It's not. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, and verse 1. Right so now. If I show you that God hates that, will you go back? If I show you that God hates these lying pastors, will you go back? Okay. Hey, but don't stop for the wrong reason. Or not. You know why I stopped? I said, I stopped because the streets was better to me. That's why I stop. Don't let it be for that. If you want to stop, if you want to stop, let it be because you're repenting and, and, and be thinking yourself. Meaning you remember that you're the Israelites of the Bible. You're the God's chosen people. Right. And you're turning away from sin back to righteousness. Watch this. Jeremiah. Uh, you got to get ready to get out here. Watch this. Let me show you. I'm going to give you this scripture so you never, so you don't go back to no more lying pastors. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors. So he says woe. Y'all know, who knows what the word woe means? Woe, woe means destruction. That's what woe means, destruction. God said, I'm going to destroy these lying pastors that scatter the sheep of my pastures, the flock of my pastures. You know how they scatter the flock? Because if I'm supposed to be saying, bring sheep, Commandments don't matter because Jesus died. That's what they're telling you, right? So you mean to tell me he died? If you had a son, just imagine, you had a son, he got into some trouble with some kids, right? You told him, I gotta handle this, you better cut this stuff out. And you go and you die in place of your son. How would you feel if your son went back to, to the gang stuff? So does that make sense when the pastor is teaching us that Christ died so you can commit all the sin you and still go to hell? But that's what we've been taught. Right. That's popular teaching with the Christian church. This is why God said they scatter away from him. They, make, they drive you further from him. 
a lot of us get lessoned in them things. Right. A lot of us get. Uh, you got a. You got a couple. What, you got a couple dollars. You know the bills is too much for you. Pastor got you thinking. You give everything you got. You go get a, a loan from the bank to get a pastor because he got you thinking that somehow, from somewhere, somebody gonna make you a millionaire from that. You are gonna be able to pay your bills, pay your mama bills, pay your good, your kids bills. You gonna. That's what they, these are lies, and they're not in the Bible. That's right. And once they do that, they drive you further from God. So now you see your brothers on the street with the Bible, and they're like, oh no, because everybody didn't lie to you with the Bible. Right. Everybody. by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.